OK, let's take a look at US data points to keep an eye on today. OK, so it comes around very quickly, but we're back to weekly jobless claims. First of all, uh, we're looking for 270,000 as a forecast for today's number versus a read of 264,000 last week. So a slightly higher rate of uh, jobless claims this week. Um, and then uh, continuing our, our PMI theme, we've got the flash manufacturing PMI for the US looking for a, a, a very positive number here. We're looking for 54.6 uh, versus the read of 54.2 in April. It's, you know, we certainly don't want to undershoot the April number because that will uh, that will you know cast doubt about the strength of the US recovery once again. And then um, we've got um, the Philly Fed Business Outlook Survey later on this afternoon. Uh, again, it's a, an indicator of business activity and economic growth. Right. For a read of eight versus a read of seven and a half oh. in April. This is one of those data rich uh, slow burn numbers that uh, that may not move the market much today, but it but the, when people drill down into the survey, it's got lots of data that will probably have an effect over the medium term. Understood. OK, 